Everything's normal. Oh, this is so boring, really. Hey, Commander, have you any suggestions? Mm hmm? Galvatron seems to have disappeared. This is our chance. Are you thinking of an attack? That's good. Count me in. We can't do that. Why are you so eager to go to war? Don't be so impatient. But still, it's very strange, don't you think? Scorponok's been very quiet lately. That's right, sir. It's very strange. Don't be impatient. Yes, of course we have the right to defend ourselves when we are attacked. But we are not warmongers, you know. We don't want to be the ones to start a war. You agree? Hmm, that's true. However, at the same time, something incredible is about to happen on Earth. appeared in San Francisco is swallowing people up and killing them. The Autobots' contact on Earth, Ultra Magnus, has received news of this. Listen, let's evacuate everyone to keep casualties to a minimum, understand? Yes, sir, I'll keep you informed of the situation. I rely on you. Go on, then. Yes. Help arrived just in the nick of time. The backup troops are on the scene. Transform! Transform! The train has also arrived, but at the same time, someone's expecting them. He's Bruticus. Oh, it's you! I've been waiting for you for a very long time. Die! Oh, yeah? Mark! Come on! This is not an energy zone. So why would the Decepticons come here? We shall call the Headmasters about this. Finally, Ultra Magnus contacts Sydney to ask the Headmasters for help. What's that? A plant that eats people? That's right. And it's still growing, and now it must be over 10 meters tall. Hold it. I think I've heard of such a plant before. Have you, sir? Well, I can't really be sure until I check it all out. Anyway, you must stop the Decepticons as soon as possible. Don't you worry, Ultra Magnus. I can't wait to give the Decepticons a real bashing. Yes, I've got so much energy and meaning. Me too, I feel aggressive. <laughs> You're still very young. Well, I'll leave it to you. Yes, yes you, you can, can count, count on us. us. On the other hand, back at the Decepticons' base on Jolo, Scorponok is very smug. <laughs> Chief Scorbinon. Yes. According to our scouts, sir, the Autobots have already left for the Earth. Oh, yeah? 
So everything's going very smoothly, just as I planned it. <laughs> so then, what is Scorponok planning? What is he after? Is this just a ploy to divert Fortress Maximus's attention? Hmm. Look! Huh? This is the plant they have in San Francisco. As far as I know, this carnivorous plant can only be found on the planet Taurus. What? This is a carnivorous plant from the planet Taurus? Well then, so what's it doing here on Earth? Come on, don't be stupid. It must be the Decepticons again. Uh, that's true. <laughs> I thought of that too, you know, but uh, I, I just didn't... Oh, say. did you really? But then, Commander, wh why would the Decepticons plant these things on Earth? Hmm, that is the real question. Scorponok! Huh? I'm sure it's him. Scorponok must be the one who planned this. But why? What's he after, sir? Hmm. I don't know that yet. I know. This must be a ploy to lure us away. Don't you worry. And even if it is a plot, we still have to go and help the people down there, don't we? You're right, sir. All right, proceed to Earth at full speed! Meanwhile, something's happening on Sydney too. I'm full. I have to go out for a while. Hey, where are you going? You haven't finished your food yet, Danny. The Botanic Gardens. Last time I visited Earth, I brought back a plant. It's still got no buds on it. Oh, really? It's taking a long time, isn't it? That's right. So I want to take a look at it, see if it's all right. See you later. Hey. <gasps> <laughs> I knew I'd find you here. What's wrong, Wheelie? Aren't you happy? I'm planting. You must be kidding. That sort of thing is for old people, you know. Oh, I see. You're angry because I never sent you flowers. Is that right, Wheelie? Hmm. Of course not. Anyway, you're wasting your time. That won't grow. Hmm. <laughs> but what if it does? Oh, well, we'll see. <gasps> huh? It's Bunny! It's growing! It's growing! Oh, oh my goodness! What flower is that? These are evil flowers! Hey! Hey, wait! Okay, I'll get rid of it! Oh, uh, it's an evil flower! Uh, Actually, it does look different from the one I picked on Earth! Oh! Uh, 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 oh! Oh! Wait, Danny! Meanwhile on Earth, the Autobots are still fighting the Decepticons. But now their headmasters arrive. Is that the monster flower? So what do we do with it? There's no time to think now. Let's all go out, all of us, right now. Okay, then the first thing we must do is try to get rid of the monster flower. Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> You're just wasting your time. You again! We've been waiting for you. Now watch, a man-eating flower that can dance. What? And on Sydney, huh? Look, it's that flower! Hmm. I've never seen it, but what's wrong with it anyway? Look closely, it's different from the flower in the bag, Father. Hmm. Yes, that's true. So I'm right. <gasps> it's moving again. Huh? You monster flower, I'll kill you! <sighs> It shook the hell out of me just now. Stop, Danny. The flowers are innocent. Watch out! Aha! The 
This can be fun! This is incredible! We must go back to the base and think of a solution! You see, I'm right! Meanwhile, back on Earth, no solution has been put forward for dealing with the carnivorous plan, and the Autobots are still fighting the enemy. That's a carnivorous plant that's only found on the planet Taurus. A meat eater. That's right. According to the records, it has eaten human beings. It can eat people. Oh, I don't understand it. What's happening here, Father? Mm, I'm beginning to understand. So then what's your idea, Sparkle? Oh, I only wish I'd never brought that plant back from Earth. It's the Decepticons. They're trying to use Danny. That's it. Oh. 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 At the same time, an emergency call comes in from Sydney. What? It's in Sydney too? That's right. It's destroyed an area within the base. I see. This plant is in Sydney too. We still haven't located this plant's weak spot. We're still fighting it. Fortress Maximus, it's my fault. I shouldn't have brought the seeds back with me. What's that? Danny, you... Oh! What's going on? Do you read me, Commander? Do you read me? Come in. Do you read me, Commander? He said that they're still fighting, so maybe his ship has just been... Come in, Fortress Maximus! Please answer! Commander! Commander! Back on Earth, Fortress Maximus is in great danger. <laughs> uh, I can't move. What's going on here? Incredible! I never thought a plant could grow to that size. <laughs> this is a real monster plant, isn't it? The air on Earth seems to suit it even better than Taurus. I've got a terrific scientific mind. You thought of everything, sir. If I'm correct, the more nutrients it takes, the bigger it'll become. And then it can swallow Fortress Maximus and all his troops. <laughs> Scorpionok's plan is to take revenge on Fortress Maximus. Oh, Commander! Highbrow! Hey! What are you waiting for? Give me a hand! Right, I'm coming now! Oh. 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 <laughs> you can't stop us! The plant will swallow you too! Oh. Man-eater, keep them down and kill them! Scorpionok, I promise you will never win. Meanwhile, in the base at Sydney. Commander, please answer me. Oh no, there's nothing. It's bad. Sparkle, bad news. Danny's fighting the man eating plants. What? Danny? I'll see, I'll leave you in charge here. Stop, Danny! It'll kill you! Be quiet! I brought it in, so let me destroy it! Stop! Stop! Stop, Danny! Hey, Danny, it's dangerous! Father! Watch out! I'm sorry, it's my fault! It's not you, Danny. It's the Decepticons. They used you. They're the real culprits. Look out, Sparkle! Huh? Oh! oh. If this carries on, even I may be killed. Oh. Oh. What about that? That's it. Okay, I will give the sword a try. Oh no, I can't.
can't use the sword. Quick, help me, Commander! Oh. Commander! <laughs> oh. Oh. Master Sword! Commander, it's amazing! Bad news! We better get out of here! Master Sword is the king of all swords. Only a man of justice and integrity is able to use it. And he was to use superpowers. And after using it, he would become very weak for a time. Fight me! Oh, he killed the man here. <sighs> Fortress Maximus, we don't give up so easily. This is nothing to me. As soon as my weapon's completed, none of you will be able to beat me. <laughs> Commander! Good. You're all okay. You're very cunning. You never told us that you could grow so large, Commander. Oh, actually, it's only a recent thing, you know. Let's get back to Sydney now. Meanwhile, back on Sydney. Hmm? Oh, the planet suddenly exploded. Why's that? I don't know. I guess the explosion of the man-eater on Earth may have something to do with this. Fortress Maximus, while on his way back to Sydney, receives a report from Sparkle regarding the explosion of the carnivorous plant. Sparkle, it is the Decepticons. They are behind the whole thing. Perhaps the explosion of the man-eater on Earth created a chain reaction. I think you're right. Commander, I'm sorry. It's all my fault. What are you talking about? This isn't your fault. This is a plot cooked up by the Decepticons. I guess you're right. Of course I am. I'm glad you're okay. Did you get hurt, Danny? Don't worry, I feel just great. Hey, get out of the way, Wheelie. Can't you see I'm talking to the commander? <laughs> I think you're both fine, judging by that. Okay, set cost for Sydney at full speed. Fortress Maximus' ability to enlarge himself has shown Scorpionov that the Autobots have a new and powerful weapon. However, what is the secret weapon that Skorpinov is now making that he thinks can beat Fortress Maximus? Will it be a big challenge to the Autobots?